All right, guys, so this is the moment of truth. We got the big bottle pumped up. Uh, Halley's halfway through with, with uh, chalk. We got it pumped up to 60 PSI. It's standing over there. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of JPTV. I hope you guys are having a blessed and an amazing day out there. We hope you guys are watching this video and today we are at the gun aisle in Walmart. You, you know, if you guys have been asking me a lot for some new air gun videos. You guys like my Pelican videos, like my Gamble videos. You guys are absolutely killing that video in likes and views and a lot of support there. So I absolutely enjoy that. And I'm going to bring you guys a little bit of the reason why I can't totally film too much air gun videos. Because it's not squirrel hunting season, it's not trapping season. So I can't really can't really do any any hunting too much because it's not the season for it so i have to wait for the season for it and i gotta wait for the trapping season you guys have seen a ton of those videos once the winter comes more towards uh, january and february so be ready for those videos coming up but i still got one great or maybe two good hunting videos i could film for you guys with the air gun now this is product i've been looking at for a long time at walmart i've absolutely had my eyes on it it is absolutely amazing it's gonna bring our target practice with the air gun to life big time so i'm gonna show you guys that right now hope you guys enjoy Stay tuned because you guys asked for this video. So as always, we're going to jump right in. So here we are at the great gun and uh, pellet gun aisle in Walmart. Come on, you seriously have to bother me right when I'm talking. Man, anyway, I've got a few uh, thoughts on getting some of these. This is not the product we're actually doing today, but if you guys want to see that, drop a like, leave a comment down there, and I'll do a review on those. I, did, I do actually have this, but I didn't get to film a review on it because when it came... I really wasn't in the mood at the time for filming, which was a long time ago. And these are the pellet gun selection here. I totally like this gun a lot. I mean, it was pretty good. Now, I've been having my eye on the Gamo Swarm Maxim. They used to have it for 200 bucks. Now, I see a $150 price tag. So, I might have to jump on it for the boys, man. Like, come on. This thing is a 10 times shot, 1,300 feet per second. I don't know, man. Like, I, I feel like if it goes down any lower, I might have to buy it. I always want to do... Not that one. Where is it? Uh, come on. Here we Is that it? Nope, that ain't it. I'm looking for the CO2. CO2, CO2. It is not here at the time, but they have a CO2 one that Walmart makes that has about 700 feet per second. It's absolutely cool. I always want to pick that one up as well. But that's the selection we have here of the guns. Also, that green one's pretty cool. But the product we are here to get is right here. If you guys are wondering what this is, don't worry about it. I'll explain later on in the video. Now we're gonna get some other supplies we need down at the crafts area. Quick stop in the craft area to pick up some chalk. So chalk with whatever product we have here is gonna make the day. And one more item which we should have laying around at the house. So uh, let's jump to the house now. I think we're gonna pay for these guys and go home. All right, guys, so we are back here today. It is the next day after when I went to Walmart and bought all the things I needed. Now, I did buy a couple things more in the store of Little. Yeah, and Little. But you can also find it in Walmart and anywhere. And these are all the supplies you're going to need to have this thing to work. We need an air pump, some bottles, and I got this big bottle here to test out, some chalk, the product that we bought, and a knife with a, some type of a BB gun or a pellet gun or something that should be able to penetrate through this plastic. And this is all the supplies you're going to need here. Hopefully this will be real fun. Now we're going to get into the product I actually bought. Because you guys are probably still guessing what. If you guys figure, you guys should have figured it out what it is already. But we're going to see what it is right now. Show you guys the product in more detail. So this is the product right here. It is called the Boom. Now this is supposed to be something that you screw on to any type of bottle. Pump it up with air. And it should be able to explode with a big amount of PSI. And it says that uh, the extrusion is right here. Uh, put the, uh, Attach the thing on to the bottle inflate and shoot so we got the stand right there we got the bb gun this will hopefully make our target practice way more funner we're going to check it out hopefully it fits on the big solar can because i really want to see how that exploded now this doesn't say go bring the chalk but don't worry the chalk is for uh, the next level of this of this item so we're first going to open it up give it our first opening see our first impressions and attach it onto the bottle and pump it up all right having this knife here this is not my normal review knife first time i don't use my normal one sorry for that guys but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do i'll get back to you guys when this is open eventually 
And finally, after lots, lots of cutting, we've got them out here. This is what they look like. Have this right here, a little inside. Hopefully this thing fits the top of the bottle and the soda can, I'm really hoping. It also comes with two of these little inflatable things, uh, pieces to inflate them, which is real cool, because then you have to go buy them if you don't have them. And uh, I think this thing says it's reusable. I'm gonna see if I can find it somewhere. Uh, yeah, it says it comes with 10 of them. They're reusable, there it is. They're reusable, easy to inflate, and recyclable. So we're gonna give these guys a shot, see if they fit both of them, and then inflate them, and then go down there and fire them up. And that right there is a 60 PSI inflated bottle. Let's have our first shot at this guy. We got the bullet loaded, we got our safety glasses on. Give him a shot. Wow! That was an explosion. That sounded like a real gunshot. Imagine how the big green one's gonna sound. You guys gotta stay till the end to see that one. Now, we're gonna have our second trip trick up our sleeve. But first, I'm gonna put you guys up close to the camera with another one pumped at 60 PSI. Just to show you guys the difference between the damage. Look at this, this thing's absolutely exploded. Let's see if we can reuse this and get three of these back to back to back and see how loud it will get. Alright, so I actually got to get three of them lined up back to back to back. We're going to see if we can get full penetration and how loud it will be. So I'm going to put you guys here from the side a little bit. Get you guys a little bit of zoomed in. And we're going to see how this is going to work. There you guys have it. All three of them exploded. That was amazing. This is how you could take your target practice to the next level. Now we're gonna take it to the next level after that, and we're gonna put chalk inside. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All right, so we got the chalk. Now you're gonna need a Ziploc bag and something to smash it like a hammer. I don't have them right now, so I'm just gonna smash it like that. So uh, let's take these Craze Art sticks. Let's rip them apart. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take one of these lines, try to bust it open, get these chalk sticks. We're gonna put them inside the Ziploc bag. Let's see if we can smash these guys now. All right, so now that we have that smashed, we're gonna get the bottle. You're gonna need like a funnel or something to get that inside the bottle, and then we're gonna be good to explode it. There we have it. This thing is halfway full of chalk. Now we're gonna put the cap on, shake it up real well, pump it up, and explode it. You guys tell me, was that cool or what? Look at all the, the chalk it left everywhere. Look at the bottle. Man, the thing busted out of it. Where'd it go? I don't know, well, that was cool. Now the thing is, with those bottles, even though they explode way better, it's very hard to recapture the tip. I found it right here. But it's very hard to take it out, that's the thing, because when they explode fully, it explodes fully. But man, that was cool. I'm going to do some penetration with the chalk, and then we're going to do the final and the big one exploding with the chalk inside. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so we got the two chalk ones doubled up at 60 PSI. We're going to do penetration. I'm going to put you guys in a side view, so hopefully we can get a good slow-mo and show you guys how it looks like.
All right, guys, so this is the moment of truth. We got the big bottle pumped up. Uh, Halley's halfway filled with, with uh, chalk. We got her pumped up to 60 PSI. It's standing over there. And I'm actually kind of scared because I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to keep the camera a far distance just because this camera is brand new and it costs $300. So now we're going to get the gun rolling. This is the big one. We're going to have it on slow motion. Hope you guys enjoy. And now let's explode this big two liter soda bottle. Look how far that thing traveled. On zoom here for a second. Look how far this thing traveled. Let's see, that is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about thirteen feet from the stand to where the two liter boat a soda bottle exploded. Let's see the damage ripped right in half. That's how strong these exploding bottle caps are. And that was fun. Now the unfun part, to clean it all up. All right guys, so the video is over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was very fun for me to film. It's getting real windy up here, but I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts and how I thought about the product. So first off, super fun when you have extra bottles lying around. I've learned that in those cheaper bottles, to get it to stick on, you spit at the little cap, you tighten it up and you should be good to go. Just make sure you tighten it up for real good. And when you're pressuring up, it might leak a little bit, but keep tightening and it should be good to go. The other bottles don't sound as good, but you're gonna have to go through all the trouble to keep them pumped, pump, pumped. But the other bottles are way better. They sound better. It just sounds like a 22 or a, a Colt 45 just shooting, even though I've never really heard one before. But that's where I imagine it to sound like. Man, that was great though. I totally recommend the product. It cost me $7 on Walmart for 10 of them. Now for the cheaper ones, you might not be able to unscrew the top, but uh, you still be able to, to have some real good fun out of them. And with a plier, you'll probably get it off. But that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I filmed another exploding target, another exploding target video a little while ago. If you want to see that video, hit the button right here. And if you want to see the video YouTube recommends, hit the button right here. If you want to join JP Nation, hit the bomb right here. Because we're going to have a giveaway soon. Very soon, a couple of videos, and I'll explain to you guys what it is. If you want to support the channel, link in the description below of the eBay store. You guys can buy some products that I sell. So until next time, this is Josiah, signing out.